Hiya folks, Mike Lindell here again. Pillow, wunderkind, el hombre almohada, and writer of From Crack Addict to CEO. In part seven, we talked about my trip to New York City when I got hooked on a crocodile and almost lost my legs. Well, I got back to Minnesota and I swore to stick to only crack from then on out. That lasted for a while, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. Part 8 of my near-death experiences. Me and my friend, Jimmy Leibowitz, went to the Metrodome to see the Twins one day. About the fourth inning, I had to use the bathroom, so I excused myself. The game was tied 4-4. And so I was in a hurry to go take a quick piss and get back to my seat. If only it had gone like that. I was relieving myself in the trough-style urinals of the times. Boy, do I miss those things. And the guy to my right, I couldn't stop looking at. I thought I recognized him, and he had a really impressive hog. So I was staring. Got to admit it. And he caught me. And all of a sudden I realized, holy shit, it's tree bass. If you remember tree bass, we had a run in, in on our way to Aspen and he stabbed me and I almost died. I thought he was doing 20 to life, but evidently he'd gotten out and he definitely recognized me and he didn't look happy. I zipped up and ran back to my seat. Well, long story short, he found me, and he threw me off the third deck, and I crashed into the AstroTurf, and after that, I don't remember anything until waking up in the hospital. I was in the ICU for two weeks. From what I hear now, Treebass is back in prison, and this time, boy, I hope he doesn't make it out. I've been going to his parole hearings every five years and I hope we can keep them locked up. Well I know it was a short and sweet one and there wasn't much crack involved. We were high but that is my near-death experience number eight folks. Talk to you soon. Mike Lindell here saying goodbye from Minnesota.